We're installing a new sump pump discharge line in Clinton Township, Michigan. Want to go over a few things. I want to show you why it failed. I want to show you what we're doing to prevent failure. We're using four inch Schedule 40. The Crest line, I'm gonna plug them. Really like their product for a couple reasons. I'll go over that. I bought this piece at the Home Depot just so that I could show you what not to do. And it goes together with these couplers. These couplers are three and a half inches and then you're splitting them because you got to share it. This belled end is four and a half inches and you're not sharing it. You're sliding a pipe in four and a half inches. There's a belled end right there off a piece of pipe that we cut. So you can see that this piece from Home Depot has to have those three and a half inch couplers. Doesn't have that bell. I also like that crest line, they'll put a mark so that when you glue the pipe together and you're working in a trench trying to get it tight and you want to make sure that it's all the way in, it's great that these come pre-marked and they bevel. It doesn't have this real sharp edge to it. It has a nice bevel. So it goes together great. Crestline is not the only one we use. There's several I use, but I really appreciate a company that does these small things that help us out in the field. So that's what I recommend, a Schedule 44 inch. All the old school guys, they ran three inch for so many years, they, they can't believe that, oh, four inch is too expensive, four inch is too expensive. There is a jumping cost when you go from three inch to four inch Schedule 40, but when you increase the diameter of a material, doesn't matter if it's steel or PVC pipe. When you go from three inch to four inch and it's the same thickness, the pipe gets stronger. It's, it's more rigid. You got tree roots growing around it. Tree roots, ten, they tend to take the path of least resistance. Plus you got the heave and thaw. This one is a shallow system. It, we can't get it below the frost. We just can't. It goes, we're taking it out to a ditch. And this is a system that's referred to as sump line out to daylight sump line taken to daylight so it's shallow it's going to be in the frost it's going to be in the freeze and thaw cycle up here at the house this was when the old line failed it was just spraying on the house you can see all the efflorescence in the brick that has has come out of the brick from all the water that was spraying up against this house there's a big erosion hole right here as well so we went ahead and the reason why you want to do a connection like this, you have your solid. This is this is rigid, it's solid coming out of the house. You can't do nothing with that. But this here is going to go up and down during the freeze and thaw. So that's why we build them like this. And then here's your overflow protector. If that ditch ever backed up, the water wouldn't end up flooding the basement. It would still find its way out here. So there are some pointers to how to install some pump line in Michigan when it's in the frost, especially out, out to daylight. Now, why'd it fail? Well, I keep talking about this thin wall PVC pipe, the SDR pipe. These guys want to use it for sump lines. They want to use it for downspouts. Not here in Michigan, not here in Michigan. In the Sunbelt region, you guys can get away with that. We see too much, during the freeze and thaw cycles, the stresses on these pipes, it's it's unbelievable. It's, it's I see failure constantly. So this this is what we preach against here in Michigan. So if you're in Canada, you're in the north north if you have a, a winter climate, you're not in the Sun Belt region, you want to use a schedule 40 for everything. Don't even mess around with that thin wall. And we glue it. We don't we don't dry fit it, we glue it. And the guys that use Silicone, they crack me up. Man, is that a joke. How often do you have to silicone your shower or your bathtub? Are you, are you a homeowner? Are you, if you're a real new homeowner, you're gonna find out that stuff don't last, even if it says it's a 50 year. It's kind of like a 50 year shingle or, or a 50 year window. That stuff uh, normally makes it 18 years at best, but the, the silicone, silicone is something that you have to re-silicone 
every few years. So I really laugh at the guys using silicone. So don't dry fit the pipe, don't use silicone. Use a PVC cement. For a sump pump line done right the first time in southeastern Michigan, give us a call.